the heartbeat signal. In December of 2019, astronomers discovered what is being described as a strange and persistent radio signal evidently coming from a galaxy several billion light years away from Earth. Although they had detected many of these radio frequencies with various lengths and at various times, this one was different. It was consistent, repetitive, and unlike anything found before. Not only was the heartbeat signal consistent and repetitive, it was also longer than any detected before. Scientists recorded that it lasted about 3 seconds and repeated in 0.02 second intervals. Labelled FRB 20191221A, these fast radio bursts are unlike any of the others. It's believed that this signal and signals detected from newer and improved technologies and telescopes can provide access to parts of the universe that have not been reached yet. Scientists, astronomers and researchers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and McGill University in Canada have utilized the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment to detect these signals, which are called fast radio bursts. It's an interferometric radio telescope that is sensitive to FRBs and is therefore used to track and detect their occurrences in the sky. The first time an FRB was ever discovered was about 15 years ago in 2007. Since then, many radio signals have been detected, but unlike this heartbeat-like signal, they were very random and inconsistent. These FRBs were flashes, short and scattered, and coming from unknown sources an extremely long distance away. The closest an FRB ever came to being periodic was a signal discovered to repeat every 16 days. And still, these fast radio bursts were not very consistent. The source of these FRBs is unknown, meaning scientists can only postulate the origins of these signals. It's believed that FRBs may be emanating from radio pulsars or magnetars, neutron stars that are the dense and rapidly spinning cores of what were once giant stars that have since collapsed. CHIME has detected many different kinds of FRBs with varying properties and surroundings. Some live inside turbulent clouds and some seem to be in clean environments. Other than this information, not much else is known about where these FRBs come from, and all that is known of the origins of this new heartbeat signal is that it appears to be coming from a source that is surrounded by plasma clouds. This discovery is significant because it not only tells us that there is much more to learn about the universe than we know, but because it can be an indicator of what else is happening beyond our world. Exoplanet 2M0437b We have so many fantastic creations here on Earth that it can be difficult to remember everything else that is out there. Scientists have so much to investigate and research beyond our planet that it can be impossible for the general public to know what research to follow. It is always exciting, however, when new planets are discovered in different galaxies and solar systems. These are exoplanets and researchers hope their study can help us understand more about the origins of the universe, how Earth formed, and if other planets could support life the same way Earth can. Of course, a key aspect to the study of exoplanets is learning how they form and studying their early development, though this is easier said than done. One exoplanet first discovered in 2018, 2M0437b, is thought to be incredibly young, as far as planets go, giving great opportunities for researchers to probe a little further into its origins. This exoplanet is estimated to be just a few million years old. By comparison, our solar system's planets are 4.5 billion years old. The young age of this exoplanet has led scientists to speculate that this is still as hot as lava, with the high surface temperature being put down to its recent formation and the energy that was released during this process. The baby exoplanet was spotted using the Subaru telescope when it managed to capture a stunning shot of the planet reflected in its star's light. The Subaru telescope is based in Hawaii, at the summit of the Mauna Kea volcano, but is operated from Japan by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Some initial research showed that 2M0437b is very large, multiple Jupiters in size in fact, as well as revealing the sky-high temperatures of the planet. Professionals have noted that being able to directly observe the planet provides us several opportunities, 
meaning we can look at the composition, helping us see where and how it formed, as well as observing the gravitational orbital tongues on the parent stars. There is plenty more research opportunities waiting to be explored. The Closest Known Black Hole to Earth If you know anything about space, you probably have some idea of what a black hole is. What you might not know about is the newest discovery astronomers have made about the distance of the nearest black hole to the Earth. When massive stars, some of which are roughly ten times the mass of our Sun, near the end of their lifespans, a powerful supernova explosion occurs, causing them to collapse. What is left behind in the aftermath of these collapses is a tightly packed small space containing the mass of at least several suns and a black hole. Because there is no light in these areas, they cannot be observed directly. Rather, black holes are detected by the gravitational pull that drags in all nearby materials, meanwhile emitting X-rays that then signify their existence to scientists and astronomers. This particular black hole was dormant, and so, even though such black holes are far more common than active ones, it was even harder to detect because they no longer have a strong gravitational power. It's not just the closest found so far, it's also huge. It's about 10 times as massive as our Sun, and is located only 1600 light years away from the Earth, which is not much in terms of cosmic scale. Though astronomers have spotted a mere 20 black holes in the Milky Way galaxy to date, it's estimated that there could be more than 100 million more lurking around the galaxy, with sizes about 5 to 10 times more massive than the Sun. Because of this, it's quite possible that the current closest black hole will not hold that title forever. Karim Al-Badri, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, said that because there are so many yet-to-be-discovered black holes, finding this one suggests there are a bunch more to be found. And so there is a high possibility that those will be even closer than this one. For now, however, this is the closest researchers have been able to find, which is still a fantastic discovery. Compared to the previous black hole that maintained the closest black hole to Earth title, this one is three times closer to Earth. It also has a nearby star that is about the same size as our Sun. And even more interestingly, the black hole and its Sun are roughly the same distance from each other as our Sun and the Earth. Researchers were confused as to how it was possible that the remaining star was not consumed when its partner star collapsed, faded, and formed the black hole that has now been discovered. Black holes have always been very interesting and points of interest to those who study it, as well as people who are curious about outer space. Mysterious kick just after the Big Bang may have created dark matter. Scientists believe that matter and antimatter should be balanced. They are counterparts, and as most materials that are opposites, they ought to cancel each other out on contact. All the universe's matter should have been destroyed as soon as it came into existence as a result of touching with antimatter. But, as we know, that's not the case, and there is a known imbalance in space when it comes to matter and antimatter. Scientists now theorize that when the universe was in its infancy, a kick was responsible for producing far more matter than antimatter. It's possible that this imbalance between them made dark matter. Dark matter has a pull on everything, yet it does not interact with anything, even light. All we know is it exists and makes up 80% of our cosmos. But how it works, how it came to be, and what it does is still a mystery. And yet, we also know that regular matter has nothing in common with dark matter, which is, as of now, outside our understanding of physics. It is believed that for a short while, antimatter and matter were balanced, but something caused that balance to shift and it filled the universe with matter. Scientists do not know when this happened, if it even did. It is now thought that perhaps the unbalance of matter and antimatter is connected to the birth of dark matter. It would make sense for these processes to be connected, but without proof, one can only speculate and study the situation. A study by Arxiv from 2020 alleges that space relies on a baryon number symmetry. Baryons are composed of quarks, protons and neutrons, and it claims that all baryons must be equal in interaction with baryons possessing antiquarks. If this paper is accepted by peers, 
it will suggest that symmetry is an aspect of almost all things in space. Yet it suggests that in the early cosmos, the kick specifically pushed antimatter and matter out of proportion. In physics, if symmetry is shattered, it creates what is called a Goldstone boson. So if the theory is correct, it adds evidence to the idea that dark matter is a product of the baryon number of matters breaking. The balance between dark matter and matter then suggests they are indeed related. But this theorized model of understanding dark matter does not help with the split between dark and normal matter. 80% dark matter and 20% matter. They are in rough balance. And it's thought that it's because they share their origins. This unknown origin or kick is yet to be theorized and for now is being held as a placeholder. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.